Namaste. Today we are going to practice yoga for hydrocell. If you don't know what is hydrocell, hydrocell is type of issue that men can suffer from wherein the water begins to be collected in the testicles which cause the testicles to be swelling, filled with water, become bigger and can be quite painful. So if you find yourself in this issue then without any further delay you should consult with your doctor and get the treatment done. To enhance the process of getting better with this issue, you can perform these yoga exercises, the yoga asanas that we're gonna practice today. So let's start. So start with your feet flat like this and bring your left leg under, right leg on top so that the knee can come on top of each other. If it doesn't happen, don't worry, you can also perform this asan in the beginning like this or when you practice for a while you will be able to place the knee on top of each other after that bring your right hand up left hand from back and interlock your fingers and then you can hold the asan while you're keeping your breathing normal for about 30 seconds And inhale, as you exhale, bend forward, very slowly and gently without straining your body, do not try to push, just do what is comfortable and easy in your body. Inhale, come back, exhale, release, change your leg. Right leg goes under, left leg on top. This time left hand above and right hand from down, interlock your fingers. 30 seconds, breathing normal. Then inhale, as you exhale, very slowly forward. And as you inhale, come back. Exhale, release and join the sole of the feet together. Hold your feet with your hands and shake your knees and your thighs. These asana that we are practicing are the most essential in getting rid of hydrocell, prostrate, erectile dysfunctioning all these problems will be solved. So make sure practicing these asan for at least once a day or two times if it's possible. Gradually stop and try to push your knees with your hands. Keep your back straight and go forward if possible. Inhale, come back and then bring your elbows on the ground, palm flat, keep your back straight and hold the asan for about 30 seconds. Inhale, come back, 
and then bend your knees for Bajrasana. Once you are in Bajrasana, remove your feet from your hips so that your hips can touch the ground. Bring the hands onto your knees. Let me show you from the back side also. Excellent and easy asan to perform. Can be held between 30 seconds to up to two minutes. Depends on your body allowance. Good. Then go back into Vajrasana, where your feet comes back and you sit onto your heels. Then bring the hand into fist and the fist goes around the navel, either side of the navel. Then you inhale. As you exhale, bend forward as the hands press to your lower abdomen. Inhale, come back, stretch legs out, back straight, bring the hands onto your knees and as you exhale, bend forward, toes towards your face and heel out, another deep breath in, breathe out, bend forward, Another deep breath in and as you breathe out, forward, hold. And inhale, reach your arms forward, up and down. Bring the hands by the side of the buttocks, feet flat on the ground, then inhale, lift your hips up, head back. Exhale down and go back into Bajrasana. and open knees to go into child pose inhale exhale all the way stretched out Whenever you're ready, gently sit up. You can also go ahead and sit in Vajrasana. It's another excellent asana which you can perform anytime whether you have eaten or your stomach is empty, morning or evening. Anytime you can perform this asana. And gently open your eyes. So these are the yoga asan part one that you can practice if you have hydrocell. But make sure that 
don't take this video only as treatment make sure to go to your doctor consult with your doctor and take the recommended treatment you can practice yoga along with your medication to enhance the process of getting rid of this issue thank you very much for joining me at yoga with amit and i look forward to see you in my upcoming videos namaskar